about that is the fact that none, and I'm going to repeat again, none of any of the Freedom of Information Act requests nationwide have been either conceived, grabbed, or responded to via the Connecticut Freedom of Information Act Office of Accountability. Sure, to try to find out what happened headline. to Sandy Hook, because that was clearly as funny as a $3 bill, a giant PR stunt to get our guns. I hear you, and I appreciate your call, bro. But we're taking calls on the NFL professional sports and piggybacking and propaganda onto it. So thank you, Corey. We're going to go to Brad, Hunter, Julio, Jeff, Carson, Ron, Scott, and others to talk about what? Professional sports being a vehicle of government propaganda and a police state promotion where government can pose as a savior, protecting us from the radical Muslim threat. They're protecting and funding, a.k.a. Benghazi, Syria, where we're Al-Qaeda's Air Force. Next time the TSA wants to check your huevos rancheros for bombs, just point out the government publicly runs Al-Qaeda. The whole thing's a giant hoax. Our country's run by criminals. Wake up. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives Gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with fluoride shield. I use fluoride shield every day. Secure your fluoride shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against 
against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products and get free shipping when you sign up for auto ship. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Waging war on corruption, crashing through the lies and disinformation. Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Infowars.com for details. Back Sundays, 4 to 6 p.m. Weeknights, 7 o'clock, Infowars Nightly News. I am your host, Alex Jones. I heard a local talk show host here in Austin as he broadcasts worldwide. I come to you from Austin, Texas. I run to listeners every day on the street and they go, you're in Austin? What, are you listening to the show? You don't know I'm in Austin? Not in L.A., not in New York, not in Miami, not in Chicago. I am not in Seattle. I'm not in Minnesota. Folks, I'm here in the, the heart of Texas. But I heard this host over and over again debating another host going, well, I don't care if they spy on me illegally. I'm doing nothing wrong. They're doing it illegally. People in government historically, if they get all your data will use it against you for nefarious aims, dummy. Just like if you have a Facebook and you post your address and where you live and the fact that your husband just gave you all this new jewelry and that you're going out of town tomorrow, they're going to come rob your house, dumbass. And I'm sorry to have to... You have your privacy and you lock your doors and pull your shades because a perv might sit there with their binoculars watching you in bed with your wife. You pull the blinds, dummy. I mean, why didn't the Pentagon just open his doors up, let everybody in to see everything? Well, you know that's stupid. Why, well, bad guys might get the info. Same shoe on the other foot, dummy. Man, I'm sick of it. But really what that is is groveling to the system. That if you just play like you're part of it, they'll be nice to me. No, no, that's the road to ruin. That's the road to slavery. It's Super Bowl 48 coming up to start of the next segment. I can definitively tell you 100%. This is not my opinion. I already know the winner of Super Bowl 48 between the Broncos. It's not a game. It's not a joke. It's not on April Fool's. I know the winner between the Broncos and the Sea Rats because uh, Bill Gates is there. I know the winner coming up at the start of the next segment. Right now, let's go to Brad in Pennsylvania. Brad, you're on the air, my little extremist. Go ahead. How you doing, Alex? Oh, man, I'm good talking to you, buddy. Hey, uh, I think the big story we we got to be careful of is the police state and what's if anything happens. And they're, they're darn sure it could be something happening. Or if you look in the recent Sports Illustrated, they're talking about all these, all the New Jersey state police, all the different government agencies. It's just a plethora of... Uh, you mean they're, 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 they're again? They're mixing anti-terror with sports, like the cops and the feds are there actually battling Al Qaeda. Why they're better than Peyton Manning? They're better than the Seahawks. They're better than you know all these groups. They're better than George Washington. Sports Illustrated, Super Bowl Forty Eight. Terrorists don't even think about it. Exactly, it's being used to sell the idea. Just like they sell the idea that gun violence is at record highs, when it's at record lows, it's there to sell propaganda. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, that's that, thank you for adding that. And uh, but I, I just I'm afraid something will happen. And if it does, you got to uh. believe, you got to know that it's some, they they engineered it just like 9/11. There's because there's just too much too much police involvement. All these different government agencies. Anything happens, you know where to look. Look at them. I agree, but I don't think they'll attack the Super Bowl this time or next because. If there's ever like a um, a strike or it's not making money, then they'll blow it up. But but the fact that it's their big propaganda deal and they like to meet all their high high end hookers at the meeting and land in their jet copters and they love having the public pay for the racket, even though they can print money out of thin air, they love having all the poor slobs pay for it. 
I mean, it's just a huge joke to them. And so I don't know if they're going to attack it, but they will sell freedom as a proctology exam and a gunship, you know, because the, the, the terror threat is omnipresent. Great points, Brad. Thanks for calling. Hunter in Texas, or should I say Jaeger in Tejas. You're on the air. I mix German and Spanish there, sorry. Or actually Indian, Tejas. Go ahead. Thank you, sir. So-called professional sports here are today are openly are only bread and circuses to distract from their already dumbed down fluoridated zombies so uh. my, re my request to you sir is that let's all instead play the real sport of legally resisting the controlled criminals in charge politically I agree with you. Uh, absolutely. That's why they want you playing simulated video games, virtual reality, sports, so you're not in the real world, so you just do what you're told. That's what's going on. I was in a restaurant two years ago after the Super Bowl. It was two years ago today. I was in there with Wes and the rest of the crew, and we went in, and they set us down, and Carl Rove was right beside me, right behind me, Caddy Corner, and we got drinks and stuff, and food was coming, and I was going to confront him at the end of dinner, but I, didn't, I wanted to enjoy my meal. And he was making fun of people watching sports while the real world went on. And then I ended up getting up and leaving because I didn't want to stay there with him. But go ahead. Yeah. Well, you know, along those lines, I am now suing the, those people for what you actually called me personally to call into your show a while back. Uh, my suit is now in the mediation stage of the... Uh, I remember you got banned from the county commissioner's. You go by Ronnie Reefer Seed, and that's why you called in with a fake name today, Hunter. Uh, and that's fine. You haven't called in in months. I just don't like to call every time, see, because it's about the NFL. This is about county commissioners banning you from speech that I think is wrong. I appreciate your call. You got every other caller. This is going to bring up another subject. You guys, I, I let you talk about whatever you want nine times out of ten. We're, we're not going to talk about whatever you want today. We're going to talk about Super Bowl Forty Eight. Julio in Illinois. You're on the air, Julio. Uh, happy Super Bowl Sunday, Alex. I'm feeling Probably really, and, man, uh, really, really manly looking at Manning right now. The propaganda corporate holiday that has been created over the last uh, several decades, the bread and circus that travels from city to city every year. It's really disgusting. You know, I, I, I was watching a commercial not too, recent, not too long ago during the Super Bowl coverage where they were trying to talk about the soldiers fighting for our freedom and they showed the Constitution and Independence Hall. And in my mind, I was just thinking, man, why don't we talk about the soldiers that are getting uh, destroyed with depleted uranium and so forth? Sure, yeah. they only invoke the Constitution and soldiers to sell the wars. And that's what I'm saying. Everything about the NFL especially is pure brainwashing propaganda, and people should be aware of that. When I think about these owners in these uh, these stadiums, I, you know, I'm from Chicago, so we have Soldier Field, and so, we, you know, Chicago's a, a huge sports town historically. You know, these, these stadiums, I think these owners are, it's almost a front for the, the continuity of government agenda and these mega stadiums being stored. You know, I remember, Alex, at uh, Cancun climate change document talking about transporting people to the big soccer stadiums in Mexico. So imagine if they talk about that in Mexico with their huge stadiums, they have Stadium Azteca, over 100,000 people in Mexico City. Just imagine what they could do in New Jersey or in Chicago or, or in Minnesota. Oh, yeah, the more in... poor, the more degraded, the more de degenerate the bigger sports are. That's a historical fact. And sports is bigger than ever as America sinks into the slime, Julio, because people just can't get obsessed with standing up for themselves. They've got to watch, you know, their male soap operas. And I, I think it's okay that most American men are latently gay and, 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 and like to watch these men bend over and stuff. I'm not against that. I understand that it's, a, you know, a giant gay simulation out there. And, and I... I, I, you know, that's the only reason they haven't banned it yet. Obama hasn't banned it yet is because it's an important training. All right, I'm being somewhat sarcastic, but, but, but not really. Uh, we will continue with our coverage of the latent M NFL on the other side and tell you the winner of the Super Bowl beforehand. Stay with us. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce 
sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. 